Hi, I'm Carla. And I'm Claudine. And today, we are going to be making Biko. And Biko is actually a Filipino traditional rice cake. So it's made out of rice, sticky rice, coconut milk, sugar, and we're just gonna mix it all together to form a rice cake. According to my grandmother, we need to wash it six times to avoid it from spoiling. Now it's time to transfer it in a pot and then add eight cups of water. Then just add a dash of salt for a little bit more flavor. Using a medium heat, wait for it till it cooks. So now when we're dealing with coconut milk, so there are two parts. So there's the first squeeze so that it's more concentrated and there's the second squeeze. So the second squeeze, um, that's the less concentrated one. It's the, a bit more diluted with a bit of water. So the more diluted one, that's what we are using right now. We're cooking it there in the kitchen with a bit of sugar. And the more concentrated one, we are going to put it last um, to make the, the biko more creamy. Add the one kilo gradually to the second squeeze of coconut milk. Stir it constantly until the sugar dissolves. Cook this for around 45 minutes and once it reaches this color, add the remaining coconut milk, let it thicken, then add the rice, stirring constantly. You'll know it's ready once your spoon no longer sticks to the biko. Now you can spread it with ease. Make sure you level everything properly. This will help give a nicer presentation for your pico. Now remember the one cup that we set aside? Using the one cup concentrated coconut milk, we are making the topping. Now the topping is called lati. We are cooking it down until it becomes dark brown in color. When the oils start to separate, it means you are nearly there. Just be patient and wait a few more minutes. Now this is the final product, the latik. And right beside it is the coconut oil. For me, I use it for hot oil. But you can just use it for cooking if you want. Now I am slicing the pico into little triangles so that it can be served individually. Now the final step, it's to garnish your biko with the latik. Now please don't skip on this part because it adds so much more depth and flavor into your biko. Now the final product, it is now ready to be served. You can bring this over at your parties or have it at home. So here you go guys, we just finished making our biko. We were able to make two 12 inch round bilaos and one 10 inch round bilaos. 